Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Into the Gungeon. Farewell to Arms. Lich Streaks. We're on a streak of 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30. 3, 33. That's right, it's a palindrome. I knew that. I knew we were on the palindrome one. Let's roll our die. Okay. I never have a problem with a paradoxin. Never a problem. It's a, it's a fun character. You probably never see the same character twice. So it's a fun character because of that. You know? Starting with... Really? Does this just give you a shield? The shield of Sir Manuel, emblazoned with his house sigil, the cup of knowledge. There's a diagram on the back illustrating how to strap on a shield and examples of when to raise it remarkably free of wear. I'm pretty darn sure it just gives you a shield. But there, I think there's like a small, I don't know, there, there's the other item, the, the Old Knight's Helm. God, I cannot remember, like, the last time I've actually picked these item up, items up, so I think that, I swear they can't be possibly dropped in by normal means. But there is the Old Knight's Helm as well. And I think that between the two of them, they have a synergy. But I think you can only get them in the, like, the tutorial area. So maybe, just maybe, if we find, like, a Synergrace or a Synergy Chest, we may be blessed with a very, very unique situation. I could be totally wrong, and maybe that is not the case, but the Old Knight's Helm, I swear, I a long time ago, at least, like, way back, it just hit me, like, back in, like, AG and D. I used to see that in the uh, in the blacksmith's shop every once in a while. And I swear that that's just, it's just a little bit of armor. I don't know, I'm so perplexed now. I'm so perplexed. I'm just opening up everything under the under the freaking sun here. We've got all of the uh, the all stars of the brown chest tier guns, which is the wind up gun, the plague pistol, and the player gun. They are all relatively stinkish, but get relatively better when you get some synergies on them, bad boys. You know, like right here, if we could. I mean, obviously the run would be banging in a different way if we got it, but the uh, the seven leaf clover. It would be really, really exciting to pick that one up because we would get the fantastic synergy with the wind-up gun that makes it actually really, really crazy. I would also settle for the oil cylinder one, which I think also makes it pretty darn good. Doesn't make it as crazy, but makes it pretty darn good. Ba -da -da -da. But it, as a first floor gun, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like... I know we keep on talking about the about this mod the gungeon type stuff like if you were making a custom character and this was their only weapon like you didn't give them the secondary stuff I think that they would need some kind of detriment you know oh we just had one of these runs I just had one of those I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this just because we literally literally just yesterday had no we didn't it was two days ago because we literally, literally, just two days ago had a table tech, very table tech focused run. So I'm gonna say not yet to that. Oh, we could fill it out, <laughs> fill out the whole shebang, get all the garbage guns from the from the brown chest tier by picking up the t-shirt cannon there, the quartet. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. be quintet but still what would what would the next one be what's the the sticky crossbow dare i say dare i say i know i know but reno the, the, the episode yesterday an elephant never forgets all the other runs though an elephant never forgets and nor does Rito. i it might be you know maybe like the cactus or the nail gun the nail gun like, no matter everything I joke about Sticky Crossbow, it's better than, uh... It's better than those guns. Probably better than these guns. It's... It's not, like... I, I don't hate it. Let, let me clear the air. I don't hate it. In fact, let me, uh... Let me answer a Discord question real quick here. 
because it's hyper related. Links in the description if you want to join the Discord, ask some questions that'll be answered in videos. Amguy asks, why do you hate the sticky crossbow so much? Well, that question was definitely asked before yesterday's episode. I know that for sure, but uh, you know, it's not that it, that I actually think it's that bad, like, because it's fine. Oh, oh, it's really just like, everybody seems is trying to tell me that it's amazing and i'm like it's not amazing you throw that you slap that synergy on it with the multi shots then it's amazing but that's not sticky crossbow that's sticky crossbow with an asterisk after it like half the wind up gun is amazing with an asterisk after it uh, ooh, plague pistol is uh, honestly plague pistol is like pretty good with an asterisk after it but like if you throw in the other synergies, it doesn't even blow me away. It doesn't blow me away at all, but it's better. It's better. With an asterisk after it. But so is, you know, so is P-Shooter. But anyway, this... Like, we're, uh, we got a, <laughs> got a whole uh, arsenal filled with asterisks right now, honestly. Nothing, nothing that's going to pop off alone. But we have the broccoli. That was probably the best thing we've got so far. Best thing we got so far. Is it going to be enough to save this from a mediocre, uh, you know, a mediocre area? I, I don't know about that. I don't know. Probably not. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Just wanna. I don't know. I have an overwhelming urge to just throw this in the pit. Just sometimes. It makes it a little sad because it does have a face on it. A little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer in my life. You know what? We could really be gun dropping the wind-up gun and making it quite a bit better. Because the first half of it's not bad. It's not bad. We got all kinds of status effects. Like, there's things we could be doing to be elevating this gameplay, like, beyond. By, like, just, you know, throwing them with the... Uh, if we had, th like, a triple quick switch, we could go, like, pow, pow, and then flap him with the wind-up gun, but... Honestly, probably be better to just do, like, a... There. Go. But I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm using it. It's not bad, and this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know if I finished my tangent. Oh, I did, I did. Yeah, if, if this was a starter character's item, like, one of the, you, you throw this as the, the starting weapon, give him infinite ammo, yada yada. I think it would be too strong for a starter. Like, they'd have to be hurt in some other way. Like, they maybe need to start with, a like, one less health container, or one of their heart containers would have to turn into a shield, or, or something like that. Like, two heart containers and a shield, or something. Or... I don't know, but God forbid, drop them down to one blank instead of two. You know, because it's just like, it's not quite garbage. But it's not quite good either. Like it, It's it's just in that, that realm of like, I don't want to really use this, but I will. And it's not going to be that painful, I guess. Especially if you oh, especially if you gun drop, especially if you whoop, do a little bit of this, or just reloading it early. Wild cylinder though. Oh, table tech. I miss my tables now. Now I miss them. But you can also just like you can think of it like if you fire all the shots, you can think of it as a gun where like. The ammo is getting wasted on half of it. Or you could think of it as a gun that you reload early, but if you want to just like finish off the last little bit of health, you can go with a slightly less optimal use of ammo to, you know, to get them on done on out of the way. Get them on done the wind up gun way. We 
Alright. Hmm. This just does not seem like a rat run. And I know I don't really have a great reason to get easy reload bullets. Oh. Quite yet, but... Now we did. I think this is a good one. Yeah, this makes it so it reloads all of your shots on a dodge roll, so you can actually have a lot of fun with this sucker. That being said, what's the point with the reload this fast? You know, it's like, look at this, it's, it's already reloaded every time we would need it. What's the point? I give this synergy a, a W for why bother. I should have said why. I think we can like I could have sworn there was this time we messed with that and we could like throw it we could throw it somewhere in this room and it would actually spread because for some reason this doesn't look deep it doesn't look deep but it is it's apparently the deepest place in the dang dungeon anyway let's answer some discord questions some more why don't we Gypsy King asks, what are your thoughts on the House of Gun Dead? Would you make any videos on it if you had access to your arcade cabinet? Uh, you know... Uh, Devolver. You want to send me a press copy of your arcade cabinet? I, I live in a place where there is... I said this, uh, I think I said this on stream. There is an arcade here, but it's like... I, as far as I know, they only have like... A like four arcade machines and a lot like a pin a lot of pinball machines i don't have a way to do it here i'd have to tr i'd have to travel far probably i'd have to travel hours and hours and hours and that's assuming somewhere like i have to travel hours and hours and that's assuming like somewhere in because i live in minnesota that's assuming somewhere in minneapolis got it that'd be like the most likely place in minnesota to get it i would assume Somewhere in Minneapolis would be my thought, like a, some kind of big city like that. But I just don't know. I, I don't even know how popular it's going to be. I don't know if there's going to be a shot, a chance. But I uh, I would love to play it. I would adore to play it. If I could play it, I would definitely make a video or something on it. Especially if I could play it in like a private setting, I would make I would make like a whole I'd make a whole freaking series on it. Like absolutely, I would love to. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to. I just don't think it's going to happen. Don't think it's going to happen. So, long story short, what do I think of it? I, I, I see it and I honestly, I think a little bit of sadness because I think that it's just going to be a, uh, a Gungeon-related thing that I just cannot partake in, which is a really big bummer. But we'll see. Because the, the machine costs $5,000. I cannot afford a $5,000 arcade. Really? I didn't think I overjumped that, to be honest. I cannot afford a $5,000 arcade machine. If somebody wants to send me a free $5,000 arcade machine, I will be more than happy to uh, promote the absolute ever-living hell out of it. Boop, boop, boop. Assuming it's good. I mean, I, I can't imagine it'd be bad, though. You know? Like... That's the thing, is I'm just so excited for anything Dodge Roll has anything to do with, because just looking at the level of polish and just the, the methods uh, of how they like don't want to release things they're not proud of, and you know, like they the delay uh, of the updates, but then they always came out good. You know, like that's something to really speak to. Like, who cares if something's delayed? Like. I I mean it's a it's a bummer, and like for like I'm I'm bummed that Animal Crossing is delayed. Whatever, like probably what is truly like three two three months delayed. But I also you know it'd be such a bummer, especially a game that major. I mean obviously like it would be maybe less of a big deal for End of the Gun. Like obviously there's been some major games that have. Recuperated from disastrous launches, like just look at No Man's Sky. That thing, like, that thing's got stands out the wazoo now. It's got some super fans. But, like, 
I don't know. It, it that's that is a rare tale. Like probably the biggest turnaround in gaming history. You know? Like for how the public opinion is uh, finally a good gun. Finally a good gun. Probably the biggest turnaround in game history for uh, public opinion of a company, you know, or a game developer, or, or a game even. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So it's just like, and I just, I look at dodge roll, I, I just, I see the polish and the mentality behind, like, I don't know, how they've treated Gungeon. And I just don't think that anything they make is going to be bad. And that's that's why I said the thing about, like, and I'll, I'll you know, I, I'm i very, very confident that the arcade machine is going to be a banger. So, if you want to send me one for free, <laughs> I, I will probably adore it, you know? It's, it's, that's not going to happen. That's never, would never, ever, ever, ever happen. Getting sent a digital key is one thing. Getting sent an arcade machine is... Oh, my God. Make it happen, though? Question mark? Anywho. We got uh, we got a free win here. I'm probably not going to really use it until bullet hell. But that's okay. I love having it. It rips through the floor, and you don't have to use it on the boss. Very easy, but... Yeah, that's my general thoughts on the arcade cabinet. I guess I haven't really talked about it in depth on the YouTube channel yet. I, I don't know. That I, I streamed the, the day after the Devolver Conference, so I talked a, a lot about that stuff on stream. So I guess I just... In my head, I'm like, I'm double dipping. But a lot of people don't watch the stream. A lot of people don't watch the stream, you know? Go watch the, go watch the stream. Whoop. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not ditching the tube, but, you know, it's nice to diversify and it's fun to do things live and communicate with people in a, uh, in a live way, have an actual, like, live comment section to, to ooh, play around with, play off of, talk to, learn about, stuff of that nature. It is quite satisfying. I, I like, I like both. I like both quite a bit. I like the idea of having both, too. It's just really nice. Bup, 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 gotta love the Vulcan cannon. It rips through them. We should probably be saving it for bosses. But then what? We use that for room clear? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully we just get ammo. Is kind of my thinking. I would just just like to have ammo. How about that? Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da. Oh, shoot. There's certain hits that you can just feel in your gut. That one. That one was definitely a surprise, though. <laughs> Who gets hit by a tiny blobby lawn? I mean, honestly. I say that, but there, there's some people who just... I I don't have a huge problem often with, uh, with contact damage, but there's some people who... who <laughs> Who honestly think that contact damage in this game is one of the more annoying things in the game. And, you know, it's a little annoying. Don't get me wrong. Bip. Son of a gun. But how could it be the most annoying thing when there's heart upgrades in green chests and red chests? No, no, no. I, You know, it makes sense that those are in there, and it's... It's good for games to have drops that are not as exciting. And it's not even that it's bad. It's just it's just not exciting to get. At, at this point in my Gungeon career, it's not exciting. Like, a new player getting a health upgrade. It's probably like, hey, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That means that maybe I will be able to make enough mistakes to get past the the boss floor that I've, you know, been having issues with. But for me, it's like, I'm gonna end the game with probably taking about like, two to six 
like heart containers or health not heart containers two to six hearts of damage and I will probably go to that floor with effectively full health so therefore I, as long as I get like a master round or two I will be fine and I I would just play better you know like if I if I have lower heart containers I would just end up playing better like I probably wouldn't be doing that I would have entered that room with a lot more caution for example see like right here bow get out of here take that give me money Take that money, watch it burn. Be -be -de -be -de -be -de -de lesson I learned. Alright, do you have a... We pr probably should just get the Evolver. Probably should just get the Evolver. Alright. Alright. Let's get the Evolver. <laughs> well, that was a big old song and dance over a whole lot of nada. Whole lot of nada. This feels like a wall monger, which means Void Shotgun is actually going to be banging. Also, Stout Bullets is banging. I don't know if we can poison him. I can't remember. Nope. Can't poison a wall, but you can set a wall on fire. If it's... Even if it's stone? Question mark, I guess. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? It's just one of those things that you've just accepted by now, you know? Yeah, you can't you can't poison the Wamonger. But you can set him on fire. Even though he, sp he spits fire, he seems like he should be more likely to be immune to fire. Judging by the fact that he, you know, well, okay. Whatever. Happened to... The milkman, the paper boy. Let's steal this. Try to steal two things. Be out. You know, I just... The AoE poison, it's fine. But it's not as good as the ability to steal an item, probably. And there's no way we're going to be able to steal more than two items. I just... I, I highly, highly doubt it. So that's why I just got the bubble blaster. It's going to be a guaranteed uh, one cycle. Guaranteed one cycle on the second phase of the dragon. So it's just exciting to have. Why not? Yeah, no. Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance like that. Oh, my goodness. Should be using them table text stuns a little more. Come on. Evolve for me, baby. Come on, baby. Evolve for me. That was quite sloppy. Don't know what I was thinking there. Really don't know what I was thinking there. But it worked. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Bonus key. Running low on that ammo. I wonder what's better, the boost of damage from Stout or the boost of damage from the Wall Bounce? Ideally, we want both. It's probably pretty freaking killer. The damage boost from both at the same time? Probably wrecks him. Just excited to get to our, uh, our Blacksmith. Get a little bit of steel and action in. See if we can get away with it too. Okay, good deal. Guaranteed get to open up both of our chests. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Hopefully we're gonna get some ammo back for this. Oh wait, this gets ammo back when it evolves. Huh. I've never paid attention to that, to be honest. 
This gun's fine. It's better now that it's buffed and you can, like, fill it back up just by doing that. Better, but not great. The shots are too large! My bullet's too big! No! My bullet's too big! Blacksmith. I would like to uh, buy some of your wares. Wink. Where you at? We have an accuracy up or something. Yeah, from the. Uh, what is it called? Galactic Medal of Valor. We get the boss damage up. We get that that nice boss damage up, mixed with the. Uh, I think it's a little bit of accuracy. Oh. That was just a dirty little combo there. Hmm. 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 Guess we'll shotgun it a bit. Didn't like my uh, my course of action there, but we made it okay. Got a little bit of a pushback. A little bit more than I want. Get against the wall, sucker. <laughs> Why do I want to use this right now? It's, it's just, I saw it in my inventory, and it actually made me a little excited. What the hell? Whoop. Contact damage! We got a Cinegrace here. You're saying there's a very small chance it could happen. It could possibly happen. Give me that weird item. I didn't think so. I'll take the scope though, happily. Happily, happily. It's just a nice little get. Bop. Oh, we saw you up there. I don't know if we would have seen him. I don't know if we would have seen him if it wasn't for that stun there. Two for one value. Don't mind that. Also get the Vulcan synergy with that, which gives us, what, higher fire rate and knockback? Oops, one moment. Not really something I normally care about. But we have it. Hooray! So is this based... Oh. Is this based off of time they're on the battle? This is going downhill real fast. Time that it's on the battlefield, or is it based off that... Okay. That one I don't feel as bad about my for myself personally. That was pretty... I yikes. Don't care about the Vulcan Synergy. There we go. That's all I wanted to get out of that. But let's uh, let's look at it a little bit anyways. Okay. Easy steals. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's actually... That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. But we're getting all kinds of ammo here. And as soon as we make it to Bullet Hell, we're basically guaranteed to make it to Miss Your Lich. You could sacrifice health, but there's not a real big reason to do so. Oh. No, 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 okay, good deal. Pretty slick, pretty slick. Got our bubbles for a guaranteed one cycle. This is not even, this might even be better. To be honest, it's just so stupidly good. Didn't know if we'd make it in time, but the bubbles with stout bullets also. Oh my god! Now that is filthy. 
That's going to be doing some big boy damage. Oh, easy money. Okay. Well, we're going to be leaving this with a little bit more health loss than I was anticipating. But it's all good. Junk. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't even want him at this point. It would just be too sad to see him and not be able to provide for him like he so needs. It would be really, really sad. Oh, no wings. But we can rip through this floor. Chamber gun, ahoy. Gotta love it. Bow. You like God? One, two, three, four, five. Hey, look at that. We did. Bad blank. Oh, I mean, good blank for a bad situation. Stupid situation. Especially because we didn't even need to dodge roll over that pit. Just kind of a reflex. Okay. Rip. Challenging floor. Very challenging floor. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do? Whatever will I do? If we end up gaining health on bullet hell, that is always, always a good time. Could easily happen. I could easily see it happen. If we don't take another hit, then we've, uh, we've gained health on this floor. If we gain another heart, ooh baby, ooh baby. It could totally happen because they enemies have a little bit of time before they really start to uh, pop shots in you. So you get a little bit of time to play around. You really do. Like you get like half a second, second of uh, of playing around before they really start to actually come for you. I'll use that to ensure that I gain health on this floor. Not to mention, I got some wings, so it's pretty unlikely I'm going to take fall damage. Which would be one of the more uh, more real ways I would expect to lose it at this point. Whap him, slap him. Give him the wrap him. Dead end. Dead end. Joke's on them. I got this scope. This, <laughs> this infinitely homing bullet is even more accurate. It is more infinitely homing. Infinite, infinity plus one. As we used to say as children. Oh yeah, well I, uh, I love Pokemon Infinity plus one. So, take that, Jeremy. Defend the ego with the blank. Gaining a full heart container, or uh, two, two half hearts so far. Thus, like in the in a kind of not as exact way that I was talking about before, with you know getting getting heart containers from chests, but you know generally same idea is still there. I'm not as big of a deal. Heart containers, not as big of a deal. All right, we can Vulcan him a bit. It actually seems like kind of a waste of ammo, almost like. I mean, not really, because it's the uh, final phase. What else am I going to do with it? I don't really know, but did you see that? That was disgusting, that health loss. Oh, sad day. We only gained one heart on this floor so far. What am I going to do?
stout bullets should be good with basically everything here. They are getting smaller, though. Go from here, we should be good. I, I have a feeling this gun hits the DPS cap regardless, though, doesn't it? Don't it, though? Brow! Alright. One more hit, and we still broke even. stay close for that stout bullet he's at half health basically and he just used one move really that is pretty yikes and two moves mister two and uh two and a half moves and he's dead that was a very challenging very challenging bullet hell yeah we gained a half heart by going to bullet hell Bada bing, bada bow, that's a streak of 30 foul. 34. We are on a streak of, and that is going to do it for today. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Pop on into the Discord to ask questions away and uh, talk about Enter the Gungeon, learn about the game, stuff of that nature. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games live. See the rest of my content I produce over there. And thank you, thank you. See you next time. I'll wait for this, though. Because I don't like... I like to have this for you guys to see right at the end here. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.